Sometimes we have trouble getting out to the internet, but it's not because uh, we can't get out by IP address, but it's because we can't get out by name. So for instance, if you're trying to go to google.com or some other website, you can't get out, but you know your IP address is okay. So first I'm gonna show you how to change DNS for those of you who need to know right away, and then I'm gonna explain why and how it all works. So I'm gonna go down to this little icon in the bottom right-hand corner, and you can see it's our ethernet. So I'm going to right click on that and choose network and internet settings, which is the only option there. Then I'm going to click on advanced network settings. And then I'm going to go to my ethernet connection. I can choose to view additional properties. And there's my DNS server right there. Now if I want to change that IP address, then I can certainly do that by clicking edit. Now we can see that the server assignment is manual, so I did not get it from a DHCP server. Now it doesn't matter whether you got it from DHCP server, if it says automatic or manual, this will still work. So I'll click on edit, and I'll go ahead and type in the IP address that I would like for DNS. So I'm going to change this to Comcast DNS, just because I'm on a Comcast connection right now. And that's if the 8.8.8.8 doesn't work from Google. I can also put in an alternate DNS. I'll just go ahead and put uh, Google's back in, and then I'll click Save. So now let's take a look and see if you really needed to even change your DNS server. So I'm going to go down to the search box. I'm just going to type in CMD for command. You can also get in there with PowerShell as well, but in this case, these are just regular old commands. So I'll click on Properties. I'm going to make this larger for us to all be able to see. There we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in ipconfig forward slash all. And we can see here are our DNS servers. Now I want to make sure that I can ping those DNS servers. And I can. So I know that this new DNS server that I uh, went to, I know it works fine. So how do you know if what your DNS server should be? Well, what you want to do is you want to go to the Internet Service Provider web page, and you can type in DNS servers in the search box, and they'll tell you what you should be using. And that's usually the best bet to go with because it's going to be the closest and the fastest DNS server to you. However, if they're not uh, responsive at this time, then you can always change it to the Google DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Now, how do I know that it's DNS is the actual problem? Well, if I go to a web browser and I can't open any web pages, however, I can still ping out to a public IP address, then it's got to be DNS because there's nothing wrong with my IP address. I can still connect to the Internet. I just can't resolve names to IP addresses. And, of course, no one knows an IP address name for a regular website, or at least doesn't happen very often. So you're going to want to have that DNS working for you. So that is how and why you can change your DNS server in Windows 11, and it works in other versions as well.